It's as if it was in her blood. Belly dancing is my life. When I'm dancing, I'm happy, I'm elated. When I'm not on stage, I'm without a soul. But she wasn't born with this traditional Egyptian dance. Soraya Carvalho is 6,000 miles away from her native Brazil, a professional belly dancer working in Cairo, the entertainment capital of the Arab world. I came here for the art. I worked in Brazil for 10 years, but I came here because the art is very special here. I feel a big responsibility to get the dance right, because there are no Egyptians and I'm a foreigner carrying on this tradition. Some people believe belly dancing dates back to the time of the pharaohs. Others say it developed as a pelvic exercise, a way to help women in childbirth feel less pain. This is the oldest loot store in Cairo. For almost 100 years, it's been crafting the instrument of the dance. Eid Muhammad Ali has witnessed the rise and fall of the art from right here in his neighborhood. Years ago, you would find belly dancers and musicians standing outside, ready to go to weddings or parties. But now, it's different. In the last 20 years, as Islamic conservatives have preached a more puritanical morality, some people have come to believe that belly dancing is haram, or taboo. That attitude upsets Fawa Wozi. She's one of the few Egyptians taking it up professionally. It's approved by the government. It's legal and we have licenses. It's not something embarrassing. I'm not embarrassed. I don't listen to them. I believe in what I'm doing. To me, what I'm doing is right, and I'm not going to pay attention to what others say. Some Egyptians who remember that special magic feel that for all their skills, up-and-coming dancers like Soraya still lack something essential. The foreigners, they learn faster than Egyptians. They have the fitness for it. But on the other hand, they don't have the feeling for the music or the dance itself. It's not like you can teach someone and she can just go out and do it. No, you have to feel it. And they lack the feeling, the Egyptian sense of it. But after years of study, it's second nature for Soraya. Her dedication is putting her in the spotlight. Cairo's Sheraton Hotel is one of the best places in the city to perform, a stage many dancers dream of. Tonight, she gets to live that dream.